Hey guys, sa video na ito, I'm going to show you one week after Miss Universe Philippines Rabia Mateo crowned as the official representative of the Philippines for Miss Universe 2020. And ngayon, I'm going to show you yung mga recent photos niya after one week. So ano nga ba ang mga nagbago sa kanya or mga kakaiba na pwede nating i-feature. So, in this video, eto po yung unang-unang ipapakita ko is yung mga recent shots niya. So, currently, as of this date, November 15, eh, nasa Iloilo po ngayon si Rabia Mateo to make a courtesy call sa Iloilo City and nagkaroon po siya ng grand parade sa kanyang uh, hometown in order to show the people of Iloilo na talagang basta ilongga guwapa. Ayan. So, ayan po yung mga recent shots ni Rabia Mateo and she chose the color red dahil dun sa preliminary interview na sinabi niya na red is the color of urge, parang fire, parang merong fire in her inner self na kung saan she wants to achieve her dreams to become the official representative as well as possible na 59 Miss Universe. Tapos, meron pang isa. She wants to be yung makilala siya ng father niya because yung kanyang way of uh, representing the Philippines is also her ticket para hopefully mamit ang kanyang father na uh, may nangyari ata noon na medyo nagkiwalay ata sila ng mother niya nung 6 years o nung bata pa lang nung bata pa lang si Rabia Mateo so she is really hoping na she will meet her father na ang gusto ko sa kanya is wala siyang hinanakit talagang very positive pa rin ang kanyang um uh, kanyang notion sa kanyang father even though pinag-aral siya or pinakain siya at pinalaki siya ng kanyang mother na mag-isa. And ngayon, ngayon naman, i-focus natin yung pinakagusto kong shot ever since before pa lang manalo si Rabia Mateo. So, ito yung parang mala pocket book na picture niya. So, kung, kung makikita nyo yung pictures niya yung ganyan, ibang-iba yung aura niya. So, hindi mo talagang, I mean, i-expect mo in the future na sa mga companies na nagproproduce ng pocket books, siguro may feature yung face talaga niya. Ayan. So, sa mga mahilig magbasa ng pocket books, parang may imagine nyo sa picture niya na pwedeng, pwedeng maging front page or cover page ng mga favorite niyong pocket books. Ayan. So, uso-uso ang pocket books kasi noong high school pa lamang ako dahil yan yung mga binabasa namin noon. So, anyway, moving forward sa mga recent photoshoots ni Rabia Mateo. So, as in, very chameleotic. Chameleon. Basta, chameleon yung, <laughs> yung style niya. Yung, as in, yung charming eksena niya. Because, she can be yung, kung ano yung style. Bagay na bagay sa kanya. I love how she transformed every style, every look. Yung mga makeup artists ngayon is nag experiment kung alin nga bang look ang bagay sa kanya and yung talagang gagamitin consistently sa uh, Miss Universe na gaganapin maybe siguro early next year. So, yung mga glam team ngayon ni Rabia Mateo is now, parang uh, they are now thinking about the best combination of her looks. Yung kanyang candid looks, yung kanyang presentation looks. Kasi kapag paglahad mo sa sa competition mismo, if Miss Universe competition will officially start, each candidate will have their OOTD. Ayan, yung mga everyday na wear nila, everyday na style. So, yung mga glam team will be starting to figure out what will be the next look of Rabia Mateo in each day. Kasi nga, syempre, you are now representing the country for the most prestigious pageant in the world. So, talagang pabonggahan yan. You must look the best. Parang the best look so far. Yung pinaka-best look mo. Tapos, dapat yung look mo is uh, nangingibabaw kaya sa mga ibang candidates from other countries. So, Katulad yan ng mga previous candidates ng Miss Universe wherein pabonggahan sila ng style, pati yung mga 
luggage nila uh, on their way to the venue of the pageant. So, as in, pabonggahan ng gamit, pabonggahan ng, ng makeup artist, pabonggahan ng designer's clothes. So, in the next future, siguro by December or earlier next year, we will be expecting yung mga po, parang potential na uh, gown, yung swimwear, or even yung national costume ni Rabia Mateo because as of now, syempre, nasa sketch pa lang yan. Nasa sketch, ginagawa pa lang ng mga artist kung, kung ano yung the best na, na style for Rabia Mateo according to her facial na yung aura niya, yung kanyang personality, yung kanyang body structure. So, ibibase lahat yan ng mga stylist or yung mga kanyang glam team para at least parang it really represents well according to her character sa Miss Universe na gaganapin. I'm not sure talaga kung ano yung date. So, wala pa kasing official date and venue for Miss Universe 2020 slash 2021. Kasi, syempre, pandemic and adabi-dabi yung nangyayari sa buong mundo. So, ayan, habang nagsasalita ako, fina-flash ko yung mga photos. I'm flashing the latest photos of Rabia Mateo. So, as you can see, Each day, she is evolving. Each moment, she has different kinds of style that really captures or captivates captivates your heart. And talagang very resonating, very magnetic yung kanyang aura. Kahit na anong style, kahit na even candid photos are really best for her. As in, ibang klase yung beauty niya. And if you would ask me, Rabia Mateo is probably the most beautiful representative of the Philippines for the Miss Universe pageant. As in, iba yung ganda niya. Hindi yung, hindi yung parang dapat iisa yung ayos na, na bagay lang sa kanya. Sa kanya pwede lahat. As in, kumbaga pwede mo rin siyang isabak sa Miss World kasi yung beauty niya is talagang very regal, very sweet, very charming. Walang strong na parang strong angles na makikita ka sa kanya. Lahat soft. Lahat sweet, as in very sweet, very angelic yung dating niya, each photo. So, ayan po, yan po yung mga latest photos ni Rabia Mateo. So, sa mga next days or especially after her visit to her hometown sa Iloilo City, syempre balik siya sa Manila para magkaroon ng events, magkaroon ng other styling, to continue her training with the Aces and Queens camps because yun yung official na mag-handle sa kanya before siya may pag-compete sa Miss Universe 2020. At ang maganda pa dito, yung Aces and Queens, parang hindi lang sa, sa kanyang journey sa Miss Universe, kundi after nun, pwede siyang isabak sa mga modeling stains, mga commercial so, yun pa ang maganda sa Aces and Queens camp because she is already a model she is already modeling some, several local brands in her hometown sa Iloilo kaya, isa, isa na siya ngayon sa pinaka in-demand na model for commercial brands in the Philippines and potentially sa uh, international na, na market that's why Rabia Mateo is now thinking all possibilities sa kanyang styling, sa kanyang makeup, sa makeup, makeup artistry, sa kanyang pasarela, sa kanyang personality development. And of course, if possible, kung magaganap yung Miss Universe sa country wherein English is not, English language is not their official language, for example, uh, sa South America. So, South American and Spanish speaking countries. Yan. So, Rabia Mateo will be starting to learn another language so she could figure out how to communicate and integrate yung culture ng particular country wherein Miss Universe will yield the competition. So, ayan po. Yan po yung next na gagawin ni Rabia uh, as her preparation. So, very rigorous yung kanyang preparation while posting her photos sa social media along with her glam team. Ayan po. So, I'm very thankful that Rabia Mateo loves to uh, produce her latest photos. 
or even videos, kahit na anong media clips online because it is her way for her to possibly reach out to her daddy. Kaya, uh, hopefully, mamit niya ang kanyang daddy in the future. Uh, mas maganda kung before Miss Universe para at least andun yung daddy niya na nati-cheer kay Rabia Mateo. And who knows, if ever Rabia Mateo will win Miss Universe na pinapanood siya ng kanyang daddy, this will be the best Christmas gift for Rabia Mateo. And of course, gift din para sa kanyang family, sa kanyang daddy, sa kanyang mami. Kasi sa wakas, magkikita ulit sila. So, ayun po guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channels, my YouTube channels, The Star of Anthony and The Star of Anthony Vlogs for more pageant updates, especially tungkol kay Rabia Mateo. Ayan. And I will be posting my future top 15 um, possible na strong candidates after makakrown yung new uh, Miss Colombia Universe. Kasi yun pa yung hinihintay ko bago ako mag-post ng top 15 ko. So abangan niyo po yan. And comment down below if you have... Uh, ayan, uh, reaction, feedbacks, or suggestions. Ayan, and reach me out in my social media accounts, such as in my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, The Story of Anthony. So that would be all. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Wag maging pasaway and stay safe.